Hi, hello. Uh, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> so I'm sorry that the uploads have been just so ridiculous and slow and like not happening <laughs> lately. Um, things have been nuts. I work retail. It's Christmas. You know, things are things are fun. Um, one thing I have been doing pretty consistently lately is watching through all of Netflix's Christmas movies and posting ratings of them on Facebook because I came across a, a spectacularly bad one and I needed to let my friends and family know not to suffer like I had suffered. Um, and to be entirely honest with you, I'm really proud of these ratings and I happen to think they're really funny. And again, I just want to save you from my pain because I have seen some dark things. Oh god. Oh, we'll get into that. <laughs> so I am just going to be reading my um, like the reviews that I posted on my Facebook page just from my phone as I'm sitting recording this video. Just gonna go to my page. I'm gonna scroll through from the first one I posted to the one I just posted like 10 seconds before recording this and I will let you guys know which Christmas movies from Netflix are decent and which ones to never ever touch. And like just a disclaimer, these are Christmas movies and they're Netflix Christmas movies so the bar is really low. Like, let's be real here. The bar is really low. And when I say a film is good, that's one, an objective opinion. Objective or subjective? I don't know, you guys. That's one, just my opinion. And let's be honest, I have a really, really bad taste in movies. So if I say a movie's great and you hate it, I, I'm just sharing my opinions at this point. <laughs> so I'm going to read through all of these and let you guys know. And even the ones that I say are good, have, in the words of a dear friend of mine, a lot of schmaltz, okay? Like, they're Netflix Christmas movies, they're bad, they're cheesy, they're predictable, they're tropey and overdone to the maximum, but hey, if you gotta watch a Netflix Christmas movie, I'm, I'm gonna hook you guys up. And of course, this is by no means a complete list. I could not watch every Christmas movie on Netflix, despite my best efforts. So, so here we go. <laughs> Holiday breakup. Not even really about Christmas. Don't change yourself for anyone. That relationship was really shitty, let's be real. Stop using others for your happiness slash fulfillment. Final rating. Hard no. Um, that was the one that inspired this whole thing because I watched it and I was like, dear lord, that was bad. I need to warn others. So that's the one that started it. Uh, the Christmas Prince, which was the first movie I watched just because I love Rose McIver. And then it was like the second one I reviewed on my Facebook. So, The Christmas Prince. We don't deserve Rose McIver. I met her once and she was tiny and sweet. Stop making up fake countries. Why are they all British, though? Great family relationships. Decent? Disability representation. Obligatory and completely unnecessary horse ride fiasco. Final rating, 9 out of 10 meatballs. I was texting a friend after posting this and I made two very good points. That one, if there had been an obligatory shirtless scene, it may have gotten more meatballs. And two, I don't know if meatballs had anything to do with the movie. <laughs> and a good friend of mine commented on this one. That movie was purely, was pure barfy schmaltz. I'll never be able to watch it more than once that my eyes rolling out of my head. So like, I loved it. That's one of my, I, I really love that Christmas movie. Maybe just because I really love Rose McIver. I thought it was really good. Um, but hey, that's someone else's opinion. So I'll offer that up to you guys too. Um, <laughs> my Santa. Basically Santa Claus too, but focusing on single mom and not Santa. He's really hot, like... Jack Frost? Um, why is there a tree and chairs in the middle of an ice skating rink? The child is good. Protect him. Final rating. Santa, next time you need to go into the moral world to find a wife, hit me up. Because <laughs> let's be honest, that happens so often in Christmas movies. Santa, like, comes in, he's like, I need a wife, and everyone's like, I don't believe that you're really Santa. I'm like, Santa, I'll believe. I'll believe. Just, like, just let me know. Let me know, babe. I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh, God. This was one of the, like, I think it's like, the second or third one I watched. Um, the Christmas Angel. Be predictable and unexpected. Listen, he always plays a bland asshole. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me up with that Christmas spirit. <laughs> My suspension of disbelief ends with the violet eyes, okay? Like, no. That's, no. <laughs> um, meeting someone once and building a house for them is a bit much. Just saying. Final rating? Yes. Also, you almost inspired me to get a real tree topper. Almost. Um, if you watched my de tree decorating video, you'll know that I have a Christmas hat as a tree topper and I almost bought a real tree topper earlier today. And then I was like, you know what? 
just just a random non-denominal sorry it's not a Christmas hat it's a Haunted Mansion hat from Disneyland and I was like you know what that's a better tree topper than a really cute one from the Disney store <laughs> oh boy my rats are playing in my bedroom and I just and one of them jumped and hid I'm sorry babe I'm sorry I'm not spook Christmas crush So first of all, and let me just let me just preface this whole story by saying that this movie was called two things. When you look it up on IMDb, it's called Christmas Crush and Holiday Reunion Movie or something stupid like that because apparently they tried to like market it twice or something. I don't know. The title thing is confusing, but it ties in with just how bad this movie is, dear lord. Um, so I <laughs> Christmas Crush. Ew, no, gross. At least the guy is cute. Literal garbage film. Final rating, one red slushy full of rock salt directly to the face. Um, and that's all I had to say about it, because I was real messed up. And then I came back like a minute or two after I posted this initial thing, and I went, edit. I don't mean trash in a cute way. I mean trash at the time the assistant manager made me climb into a literal dumpster and separate the trash from the recycling in an alley in downtown Vancouver. I feel like that movie was a dementor for my Christmas spirit. Um, yes. I did once have an assistant manager at a job ask me to climb into the, the recycling dumpster in a downtown Vancouver alleyway and pick out the garbage from the recycling. We don't talk about it. Um, and yeah, no, that movie was a literal dementor for my Christmas spirit. And that was posted at 7.30 p.m. Hi, babe. Sorry, one of my rats is visiting. No, come say hi to the vlog. Listen. A oh, babe. A oh, babe. A tiny bean. Where are you going, friend? Yeah? Okay. Hmm. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this, this one was posted at 7.30 p.m. And then at 11 p.m. I posted, I've been avoiding watching any more Christmas movies because I just can't. And I honestly put off watching Christmas movies for several hours after that. I watch horror narration videos on YouTube because those were less messed up than this Christmas movie. It, like, it was, it, <sighs> just never, never, ever, like, there's bad movies, and I love bad movies, and then there's, like, this movie. Like, there's a bad movie that's good, and in a way that it's bad, but there's movies that are just so bad that, you, it, yeah. Okay. At 1.03 a.m., following this 11 o'clock post, I put, naughty and nice. My Christmas spirit is back? Hilary Duff's sister and the fedora Trilby wearing dude bro are the heroes we didn't ask for. Like, it managed to hit every god-awful trope and just be generally disjointed and nonsensical while also giving me every feeling. Final review, the real problematic fave. Trademarked. And then I put in underneath, also, I really appreciate the use of the ampersand, because it's naughty and nice, and I just... That's the shit I signed up for, okay? For anyone who's wondering why I love ampersand so much, I recently started my own company, kind of like started getting it off the ground. I have some official pins and patches up for sale in my Etsy store. I'll leave the link down below. Um, but the name for my brand is Bloondra and Co. with like an ampersand. And then my logo is just, this is my logo. So yeah, I really appreciate a good ampersand, honestly. Um, Small Town Santa. Probably the lowest budget film I've ever seen. Still a huge waste of money. Bad acting. Just like really shitty tropes and totally nonsensical. No, just no. And then my final rating was one ho out of three. Like it's ho ho ho, this is just ho. Like it was just... So this was Tuesday night, sorry. This was Tuesday night. And <laughs> I had a date on Wednesday. I, I texted one of those reviews to my date and then we met up and <laughs> they asked me about a Christmas bunny and I just buried my face in my scarf and almost started crying because this movie was so flipping good. Oh my god, this movie... Listen, it touched me. A Christmas Bunny. The heck, so good. Dealt with and showed trauma P. well, TBH. Listen, I use a lot of text speak and I'm kind of not really sorry. I can connect to many of them on a deep level. Cute bunny! Pre-pubescent boys are actual monsters. Treat all animals with love. Take care of your pets! Let's be real, boys never truly grow out of being testosterone-fueled rage houses. Just so good and cute. 
Final rating. Somebody loves this movie. It's me. And then yesterday, Rodeo and Juliet. Like you just, you just know by the title. First of all, the horse's name is Rodeo, which, given the context, is very concerning. Um, good old girl and her horse movie, except this girl is a teenager, so love interest. I have a little like, whoop, I don't know how to, I don't know, I don't know how to speak that. Doesn't win, but wins in the end. Double love story. Barn dance, because country. And then final rating, 15.6 seconds. Good, but not a real winner, which I, most of these, um, like, final ratings are a reference to the movie, so that one's like, <laughs> that one's especially pointed. And I'm not sorry for it. Uh, and then the one that I posted 15 minutes ago, or 13 minutes ago, and I've been filming for like 13 minutes. So literally right before I started filming this video. Um, Christmas Inheritance. Okay, first off, inflation is a thing. Uh, also, more importantly, the chauvinistic asshole was black, and the nice small town boy was white, and like, uh, not okay, not okay. Uh, Spoiler Rich Girl goes to find herself in a small town. This just in, small towns are quaint and not toxic cesspools of bullying. I had no idea. Are you doing something? Oh, I went to ask if he was doing something naughty and he just ran and hid, so that's a yes. <laughs> Sorry, my rats are literally just running around my bedroom right now for playtime. Critiques aside, actually good and sweet. Uh, final rating, 7 out of 10. Soft recommend. I couldn't find a, like, a movie reference to rate that one off of, but like, soft yes. Gentle yes. Like, it's decent. One of the better what? Not the best one. Holiday breakup. You little dipshit. Holiday breakup, Christmas crush, and small town Santa. Not worth it. Christmas bunny, Christmas prince, and... Do, do you mind? Dude! My rat is walking on the power cord and causing my lights to flicker. Boy, I'm filming a video over here. Come here. If you're gonna be a little butt, you gotta say hi. Them's the rules, my friend. Come on. Oh. Sorry, he's being a butt tonight. Oof. Hi, Eli. Yes. Yep, and there's his butt. Thanks, Eli. <laughs> Christmas Prince, Christmas Bunny, and Naughty and Nice. Like, I'm sorry, Naughty and Nice was so bad, but it was so good. And honestly, Rodeo and Juliet, I really enjoyed. Like, I know I mock it, but listen, I'm a sucker for a bad movie. Woo! Bye, friend. Ba -da -ba -da. All right, and with that, it is 10.30 and I work. I have to be up excessively early. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. So I'm going to sign off. Uh, night, and I will see you guys all uh, next time. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and check out my links in the description. I have a personal Instagram, a business Instagram, and then of course my Etsy store, which is my pride and joy at the moment. Um, here are my babies. Ugh, you cannot see them very well. We have a garbage can on fire that says hot mess. And then a baseball bat with nails that says damn good babysitter. And yeah. Hey guys! <laughs>